Hey, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Professor Michael Atkin, and I'm going to be your instructor for this online Fundamentals of Design Thinking course. Uh, so welcome, everybody. Um, I took a look at the roster. Um, I know some of the students. Uh, there's some new, new names in there as well. Um, and we have a pretty large uh, class, so which is exciting. Uh, so I think we have uh, students that are majoring in uh, areas kind of all, all across the board, which is great um, and perfect for, for actually for this kind of course. So um, just a little bit about the, the, um, the way the course works. Uh, again, this is an online course. It's asynchronous, which means um, we're not going to meet as a group um, at like a specific uh, date and time uh, live like we do in-person classes. Um, so it's pretty much uh, kind of working um, uh, on your own, um, not necessarily on, on your own as far as, um, you know, you can, I still encourage students to collaborate and communicate with each other as well as communicate with me, um, but you kind of work at your, your own pace as long as you're uh, meeting the deadlines for the assignments. Um, the uh, So uh, hopefully uh, you've kind of took a look at how the, the course is set up in Canvas. Uh, I set up each module as kind of uh, week by week. All right, so there's uh, eight weeks for the modules um, that you'll go through. Uh, each week, uh, all the assignments are due on Sunday. All right, so all the assignments are due on Sunday. Um, each week, there'll probably be a couple of assignments <clears throat> to uh, go through. And um, if you ever have any questions, uh, concerns, anything about the assignments, or uh, uh, if something's not working right in Canvas or anything, or if you have questions about the content, uh, feel free to uh, reach out to me, um, email me. We can set up a live Zoom uh, chat, or if you're on campus, uh, on the Salina campus, uh, in person, uh, you can meet uh, in person in my office uh, during my uh, scheduled office hours. Uh, you can just drop in, or if you want to schedule a time to meet in person, uh, that's fine too. Just uh, shoot me an email and we'll get something set up. All right. Uh, so uh, this course is Fundamentals of Design Thinking. Uh, it's a 100 level course, so it's kind of meant to be a, an introductory course to uh, the design thinking process. Um, I'll give you a little bit of background on myself and kind of why I find this topic really interesting. Uh, I've been in kind of the um, communications, marketing, um, design uh, field uh, for over 20 years in industry. So I've had jobs as a graphic designer, web designer, um, uh, art director, creative director. So um, I've spent spent a lot of years um, in, in that area. And at, when I first started, um, you know, I think I was probably using the design thinking process and just I just didn't realize it, uh, it was something I wasn't familiar with uh, right out of school. Um, but in the later years, um, when I was as a creative director, it was something that I uh, had read about and really started focusing on because I found that the process itself was extremely helpful for, um, you know, solving uh, hard problems, um, whether it was related to, you know, something technical that we were trying to accomplish um, or, you know, a, a creative problem that we were trying to solve. Um, and... What I found um, as I started teaching, so I've been teaching on the uh, College of Technology and Aviation campus for um, over five years, uh, I found that this process is actually great for uh, a lot of the majors, um, even aviation uh, pilots, aviation maintenance, uh, our engineering uh, technology programs, um, as well as our digital media, uh, more kind of your creative design uh, programs. Uh, this process is um, extremely helpful for solving um, what we would maybe call wicked problems, um, large problems that are not easy to um, solve. And um, the design thinking process really makes this um, become a lot more achievable uh, for when you're working on these problems, especially um, you know as you graduate and get out there in industry, um, you're going to experience these problems, and this process will hopefully um, help you uh, in your job and success that uh, you'll have in your job. So um, this is the book um, that you guys will be using. Um, it's, I, I don't really, I guess it's a textbook. I wouldn't really consider it a, a textbook, like your traditional textbook. It's more of a, a handbook and kind of a working guide. Um, I found that this book is really, really helpful. Uh, it's very easy to read. Um, 
has a lot of great uh, kind of infographics with it that explain uh, the different parts of design thinking and the process. Um, so it should be a book and uh, it'll be a tool that you'll use um, after this class and, and moving forward. So um, the information for that book, uh, the ISBN number is in the syllabus. Um, if you haven't got that book yet, make sure you get it ordered um, ASAP um, because each week you'll have reading assignments um, that you'll uh, do throughout the book um, and I, the, kind of the way I set up the reading assignments, um, they're not really in order from start to finish. I would kind of jump around a little bit in the book. So um, make sure that you get that ordered. Uh, for this first week, I'll try to get a digital copy of the first uh, week's worth of reading um, scanned and put it into Canvas because I know some of you are uh, waiting for the book to arrive. Um, it's uh, on its way. So um, that way we can keep on track uh, because again, eight weeks goes really fast. So um, this first week, uh, what I want you to do, uh, first thing is to uh, record yourself, um, do a little introductory video, uh, upload that into Canvas, into the discussion board, and then just kind of look through, meet all your classmates. Uh, I'd like you to respond to a few of your classmates more if you can, uh, just to see who all's in the class. And then uh, that's a good way for me to get to know everybody as well. And then also just that first week's uh, worth of reading. So you'll read through uh, the pages that I signed in the, the, the text here. And then um, there's each week will be a discussion post that you'll, you'll write. Um, there'll be a prompt uh, in the assignment that I give you to respond to in the discussion board. So you respond to that, uh, write out your first uh, discussion post. And then uh, I'd like you to respond to one other classmate's post um, on that discussion uh, board as well. All right. And then as we move forward uh, next week, I'll talk about uh, kind of the the assignments that we'll do throughout this um, this term and this course. Uh, we're going to be kind of working on other assignments that kind of build into the, the final uh, piece of the, the class, the final week or uh, final project, if you will. All right. So. Um, Again, uh, glad to have everybody in class. Uh, I think it's going to be an exciting uh, class. Hopefully, it's going to be one that you find fun. Um, and again, take some really good information away from this class and apply it to your future jobs and even uh, other classes that you might be taking um, here at K-State. All right. So again, uh, have a great week, and I will talk to you later. Bye.